Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're diving into the world of Palantir Technologies. This company is not your average tech startup. Palantir is a data behemoth, a titan in the realm of big data analytics. They're on a mission to unlock the secrets hidden within mountains of information. And guess what? They just might be on track to become a trillion dollar company by 2030. You heard that right? A trillion dollars. That's a whole lot of zeros. But before we break out the champagne and confetti, we need to take a closer look. Can Palantir really achieve this audacious goal? The journey to a trillion dollar valuation is paved with challenges and uncertainties. We're talking fierce competition, technological hurdles, and the unpredictable nature of the market. But Palantir isn't backing down. They're armed with cutting edge technology and a growing list of high profile clients. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride as we explore the exciting world of Palantir. Let's talk about what Palantir actually does. At its core, Palantir builds software platforms. These platforms are not your typical apps. They're powerful tools designed to analyze massive data sets and extract actionable insights. We're talking about connecting the dots, seeing patterns and making sense of the information overload that defines our modern world. Palantir's flagship products, Gotham and Foundry, are the stars of the show. Gotham, often associated with government intelligence and defense, is a force to be reckoned with. It helps users identify threats, track targets, and make critical decisions in high-stakes situations. Think of it as the ultimate crime-solving, intelligence-gathering machine. On the other hand, we have Foundry. This platform is all about optimizing operations and boosting efficiency for commercial businesses. From streamlining supply chains to predicting customer behavior, Foundry empowers organizations to make smarter decisions and gain a competitive edge. But Palantir isn't stopping there. They're constantly innovating and expanding their product portfolio. They're venturing into new territory with artificial intelligence and machine learning. These technologies are the future of data analytics, and Palantir is determined to lead the charge. Palantir isn't building its empire alone. They're forging strategic partnerships to expand their reach and conquer new markets. Think of it as a data-driven alliance, a team-up of tech titans. One notable partnership is with IBM. Together, they're bringing Palantir's data analytics prowess to the world of hybrid cloud computing. This collaboration makes Palantir software accessible to a wider range of businesses, even those with sensitive data security needs. But it's not just about big tech collaborations. Palantir is also teaming up with industry leaders in sectors like healthcare, energy, and finance. For example, they're working with companies like Airbus and Ferrari to optimize their operations and drive innovation. These partnerships are a testament to Palantir's growing influence and the increasing demand for their data analytics solutions. By joining forces with key players in various industries, Palantir is solidifying its position as a data powerhouse. Now let's talk about Palantir's place in the market. They're not just competing, they're disrupting entire industries. Their unique approach to data analytics is shaking things up and forcing established players to step up their game. Palantir's main competitors include companies like Snowflake and Salesforce. These are big names with deep pockets and a strong market presence. But Palantir has a secret weapon, its ability to handle highly complex data sets and provide actionable insights that others can't match. While Snowflake focuses on data warehousing and Salesforce on customer relationship management, Palantir takes a more holistic approach. They're not just storing data or managing customer interactions, they're connecting the dots across an entire organization or even an entire industry. This comprehensive approach is winning over customers and driving Palantir's market share growth. They're proving that data is the new gold and they're the master miners. Section 5. The Data Titans Clash, Palantir vs. Snowflake and Salesforce. Palantir dives deep into complex data with government roots. Snowflake excels in cloud data warehousing while Salesforce dominates CRM. Palantir complements them, connecting data points for insights. They expand the pie by unlocking new data possibilities. Section 6. Fueling the Growth Engine Industry Expansion and AI Revolution Palantir's growth isn't just about outmaneuvering competitors, it's about riding the wave of two major trends, industry expansion and the AI revolution. First, let's talk about industry expansion. Palantir is strategically venturing into new sectors, bringing its data analytics expertise to industries ripe for disruption. We're talking about healthcare, 
where Palantir is helping hospitals improve patient care and streamline operations. We're talking about energy, where they're optimizing oil and gas production and accelerating the transition to renewable energy sources. And then there's the AI revolution. Palantir is at the forefront of integrating AI and machine learning into its platforms, making its data analytics even more powerful and insightful. Imagine algorithms that can predict equipment failures before they happen, identify fraudulent transactions in real time, or even personalize medical treatments based on a patient's unique genetic makeup. These are just a few examples of how Palantir is leveraging industry expansion and AI to fuel its growth. By tapping into these trends, they're positioning themselves to become an indispensable partner for organizations across various sectors. Section 7. Government Contracts A boon or bane for Palantir's future. Let's address the elephant in the room, Palantir's reliance on government contracts. It's no secret that a significant portion of their revenue comes from government agencies, particularly in defense and intelligence. On the one hand, these government contracts provide a steady stream of income and a stamp of approval from some of the world's most demanding clients. It's a testament to the power and reliability of Palantir's technology. On the other hand, this dependence on government contracts also comes with risks. Government budgets can be unpredictable, and political winds can shift, potentially impacting Palantir's revenue streams. Moreover, there are ethical concerns surrounding Palantir's involvement in government surveillance programs. Critics argue that their technology could be used to infringe on privacy rights. Palantir maintains that they operate within the bounds of the law, and that their technology is essential for national security. The debate over Palantir's government contracts is complex and multifaceted. It's a factor that investors need to carefully consider when evaluating the company's long-term prospects. Section 8. Navigating the Minefield. Challenges and Risks on the Path to a Trillion. The road to a trillion-dollar valuation is paved with challenges. Palantir faces competition, profitability issues, and regulatory hurdles. The data analytics market is crowded. Innovation is key for Palantir to stay ahead. They need to show a clear path to profitability. Regulatory hurdles add to the complexity. Careful planning and strategic execution are essential. Section 9. Wall Street's Crystal Ball, Decoding Investor Sentiment and Stock Performance. Now let's tap into the wisdom, or perhaps the madness, of Wall Street. Investor sentiment towards Palantir has been a roller coaster ride, with periods of euphoria followed by bouts of skepticism. Some investors are bullish on Palantir's long-term prospects, citing their technological prowess, impressive client list, and vast market opportunity. Others, however, are more cautious. They point to Palantir's reliance on government contracts, lack of consistent profitability, and ethical concerns surrounding their technology. Palantir's stock performance has reflected this mixed sentiment, with periods of significant gains followed by sharp declines. The truth is, no one has a crystal ball, and predicting Palantir's future stock performance is a fool's errand. Section 10. The Verdict Palantir's Journey to a Trillion Dollar Valuation so, can Palantir actually achieve a trillion-dollar valuation by 2030? It's the million-dollar question or should we say, the trillion-dollar question. The answer, as with most things in life and finance, is not a simple yes or no. It's a resounding it depends. Palantir undoubtedly has the potential to reach such a lofty valuation. They have the technology, the talent, and the market opportunity. But potential doesn't always translate into reality. To reach a trillion dollars, Palantir needs to execute flawlessly on their growth strategy. They need to expand into new markets, secure lucrative contracts, and maintain their technological edge. They also need to address investor concerns about profitability, government reliance, and ethical considerations. Ultimately, Palantir's fate lies in their ability to navigate the challenges, capitalize on the opportunities, and convince investors that they're worth a trillion dollars. It's a tall order, but one that this ambitious company just might be able to fulfill. Section 11. Join the debate. Will Palantir reach the summit by 2030? We've dissected Palantir's business, analyzed their market position, and explored their chances of achieving a trillion-dollar valuation. Now, it's your turn to weigh in. What do you think? Will Palantir reach the summit of the tech world by 2030? 
Are they a sound investment, a risky bet, or something in between? Share your predictions, insights, and opinions in the comments below. Let's get the conversation started and see what the future holds for Palantir, the data giant with trillion-dollar ambitions.